Hi, today we're going to be unboxing Saban's Power Ranger Super Mario Force Zora Builders Wild Force White Lion. He launched this missile. As you can see, the little logo there for Wild Force, Power Rangers Wild Force. And you get Power Rangers Wild Force Red Ranger, which was the line. Or Power Rangers Super Sentai. Gao Ranger, Gao Wad. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Just a nice picture of what the lion sword looks like, or the Gao sword. Red Gao. Looks pretty cool. And yes, you may know that you could always start seeing some samurai logo symbols on there. Again, you know. Ranger to now key mode. Scan the app. Here, you know, three ways to play. You have the key, put in a morpher. You have the key, scan it. You have the key, and then just like free them into each other. I guess like Bowen is made by Bandai. On the bottom here, it's got Bandai, and this also has Saban. Nice picture of a couple of the White Rangers here. Uh, I'm hoping Sony's coming out in what people are calling Wave 3, which is actually Wave 2. The Ranger Keys. So we have Power Rangers Operation Overdrive or Super Sentai Bokanger. Power Rangers RPM or Super Sentai Goanger. And of course, we have Power Rangers Ninja Storm, which was Super Sentai Hurricane Ranger. Power Rangers Wild Force, which is Super Sentai. Gal Ranger, which is the one that we got in here for the Ranger key. Next up, we have uh, Power Rangers MMPR, you know, My Morphin Power Rangers, or uh, Super Sentai Zuden Ranger. We have Power Rangers Super Mad Force, or of course, obviously, Owen knew this, but they watched the series of the real one that came out with the key Super Sentai. Go Kaiser. Then we have Power Rangers Metaphors or Super Sentai Goseya. Goseya was the one that came out before that one. Power Rangers Samurai or Super Sentai Shinkenja. Power Rangers Mystic Force Majin Ranger. Power Rangers SPD um, Super Sentai Deco Ranger. Power Rangers. General Fury, Super Sentai, Genki Ranger. So yeah, I'm hoping that they do come out on the keys with Operation Overdrive, which was again Super Sentai, Bokanger, Power Rangers RPI, which was Super Sentai, Goanger, and Power Rangers Wild Force. No, Power Rangers Jungle Fury, Jungle Fury, which was Super Sentai. Genki Ranger. Genki. Because, I mean, obviously on the boss, they already have the artwork pictures for these three. So I don't see why they couldn't have the key since they already had the pictures on the bots. So, hoping that the next wave of keys come out. As you can see, key launches missile. Um, like here's all the waves. So, let's see, where was it? Uh, right there. If you buy in the freeway pad or the free ranger key pad, you got Wild Forest, Red Lion, uh, Black Bison, or I guess you could also call it a Bull, and Blue Short. So you got uh, Super Sentai Gao Red, Super Sentai Gao, even though it's not really a Gao, it's, I don't know how you say Bull or uh, Bison in. Japanese, so we're just going to leave that as the team was called Gal Ranger. And then again, you got Blue Short Ranger, which was Gal Blue. And again, yes, I know it's not Gal. Gal means lion, so you know, Red Lion, Red Lion Ranger. But in there, I don't know how you say Shark in Japanese, but the team was all called Gal. So you had Gal Red Lion, Gal Black Bison Bull. Gao Blue Shark. 
Yeah, I know. Why do they keep saying gao 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 even though one is really the lion? That's just how the show was in Japan for Super Sentai Gao Ranger, okay? As you can see, if it comes up on screen, there we go. The little picture of the lion. So, yes. On the bed, you know, you had the spit lion sword combined with the super, uh, Power Rangers Super Metaphor is a legendary metaphor sword, even though know, it was called Gokai O in the Gokai series. And yay, he's got no legs and he's kind of like Wild Lion, which looks a lot more than Wild Force or Jungle Fury. It actually looks a lot more like Mystic Force when they combine into like centaurs and, you know, mystical creatures like that. That's what this form right here looks like. And of course we have some variation of uh, the Power Rangers Samurai Metazord which was also from Power Rangers Shinkanzer, Super Sentai Shinkanzer. Yes, you can also watch that watch on the Nickelodeon channel. So now that we got the history out, what it looks like, you know what they're calling it, what the Japanese ones are, if you're looking for them in the Go Kaiser series on like Amazon and eBay. So if you want the Wild Force keys and you want the actual Japanese ones, they will be Gao keys for Go Kaiser. And what we hope that we get in wave two or three Ranger keys, which like I always said, I don't know why they don't have them out already. And it's not like they can't do it, because like, like I said, they already got these three that we really want to get. And then of course, hopefully more, but they only have them in the artwork bot, artwork on the bots. So yay, this thing's probably gonna be a pain to unbox. Yeah, not too bad. So the missiles and everything's in this little thing right here, including the instruction sheet. So now let's get this guy out. Uh, it helps if you have some kind of prior snips like this. Little snips like this. Really does help get the guys out of a little patch in. Oh. He does have another tie down, down here on his other leg. So do be aware of that. And of course, all these tabs here are just taped down. Because half his body is encased in this little plastic. What I mean by that is this place that they see hanging off back here. So it kind of goes on top and then that. And how do we get this thing out? I think we might just have to undo him. Mm. Which is pretty darn tight. Ah, okay, so we just snapped his paw off. That's how you do it. It's just take the paws, snap them off. To get up to like the head. Snap the body of the head off. Oh, and then there's more tape holding the top piece on. So yeah, do note that there is lots and lots of tape. <sighs> Yay, we finally freed the lion. <laughs> Whoa, that, that was a lot of tape to deal with.
What? Why is this not going on? Let me see here. I don't know why the tail's not going on, but... Oh, and then there's this little rubber band holding his arms together. Yep, just when you think it's done and you would get ready to poise it. Nope. You found there's more and more stuff that you still gotta keep on doing. So it takes you like five or six minutes just to get out of the box. Which I do kind of admire that because, you know, it's not like it's going to fall apart or anything. They do take pride in making sure that hey, if the box got damaged or it's flipped or spin or whatever happened when it's shipping, you're not going to get a broken product. So, that's something that's pretty cool. And just for the life of me, I can't figure out where this piece snaps in at. I guess it's just friction. It's, no? <laughs> I don't know. So let's go into the instruction sheet and see how we kind of put it together. This thing goes somewhere on the back here. So let's put that off and slide that in. This. No, every time you try pushing it, it just doesn't want to go in. Go on, go into your bum. Yes. Cause look, the legs just kind of flop around. I'm bet. I don't know why it doesn't want to sit and lie them all, but best you're gonna get. And then here's all his other weapons and accessories and little parts like that. Yeah, I didn't say lay down. I said stand. Day. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so let's take a look at the key. Kind of got an okay head scalp on it. I really like how they did the little lion stone here, which is really cool. It came out perfectly. Uh, the key's a little stiff, but after you keep flipping around a couple times, it just opens up. Nice picture back here of the little um, wild forest symbol. And the key is PR-016. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this to come on camera not boy. Um, come on. Right there. PR-016. What does the key sound like? Okay. Yeah, pretty much that's all the key does for this little thing. That's up to saying take one missile and put it inside the lion's mouth. Like that. Because he does have a little hole in there. Take the key and I believe this way, yes. And then if you push down. I'm just going to take the bad lights off because it's going to be a little bit easier to grab onto this. And it's going to just push straight down and 
the missile doesn't launch. Yay, nice little feature that you have. Unless you pull the missile out. Or you really make sure that you get these parts snapped in there super tight. So as you can see, it does have a little hole in its mouth right there. Where the missile comes in. Let's see if we can get this to actually work. And no. Because you see the little problem here? See this little extra piece on the back of the key? Look. They didn't make a little recess notch in the back here to fit it in. So it's not going to launch the key. Great idea, but uh, fortunately it doesn't work. Yes. That is just a unfortunate bad idea. So that's supposed to be one of his little gimmick modes. Does not work at all. Next little gimmick mode that they're saying right here is take the tail, pop this little piece off of the tail, and then let's pop this piece off of the helmet. Take this piece, turn it around, and pop it on his head. Like that. Put this piece somewhere up in here. Okay, let's see. So we just took the piece, put it up there. See that little tab right there? This is where this piece is going to tab into. Okay, and then we take this little piece right here. See where that little pad is? We're going to put a band in the same little hole that the missile is in. And this one just sits in there. There's not a tight fit. I mean, it kind of stays in like here. It's not going to fall out, but it is looser than inserting the missile into it. And then, you know, you kind of have it like this. And there's a certain gimmick. Or it's such a little attack mode thing. So you can launch a missile or you can take parts of the tail, put it on top for a braid of his head, take the satellite uh, crust on top of his helmet, put it also on top of his front forehead, and take this like, little bow and hold it in his mouth. And then they're saying, oh, because if you notice there's little wheels here, you can take them like, make him charge in, which I can't do because, oh, his. That lays down, but not really good. So, yeah. Let's just take all these parts off. Flip that around. Put it back in. So, like they're saying, yay, fun, right? Yeah, fun. Okay. And this. Just flips around the bottom and heads in to this little tab here, which is a tight fit on the helmet. So the helmet does have a tighter fit to it. I don't know why the bat legs do not stay on, but they just don't. So let's see, give it number two. See where the little holes are on here? See that there are little pads here and here? Take it and line it up with these pads until you hear a little snap and it's going to be a little floppy loose back there. Let's move that to the side. Let's take our metasword and yes, this is the little monstrosity that I have created which is pretty cool. You have here, the wings, the chest head, and the claws from Mr. Forest, Super Sentai Majin Ranger, the hands, the wheels, and the top from uh, Pony Zeal, which offhand I can't remember what the Japanese name was. Then you have the body, again, the wheels, the other wheels. 
of Power Rangers SPD or Super Sentai Deco Ranger. So yeah, like I said in the back. So we kind of just incorporate all three. Of them. He's got all these Gakman guns, punching hands, he can fly, he's got claws. So let's take all these parts off and get to this little lion gimmick. Which is apparent you just pop off his little legs. Yay! You just decapitate his legs. Now give me a second to pop all these other pieces off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then see where those little slots are? Pop his. Which is hard to do because it's so. Balky. And just kind of get them to put in there, which they don't! Ah, it's super tight! And then. Like this. That's the only real issue that I really have a problem with the bat legs. They don't really want to stay, but. There, there he is. And what they're calling Wild Force was looks more like Mystic Force. When they combine into like creatures like this. So we'll just pop him off. And then we'll get into the samurai thing. So to pretty much say detach legs, detach helmet. So legs. Ugh. Bam, bam, helmet. Ah. What else are they telling us to do? Detach blade from lion. So, this one's all the way off. Just say, take the bid piece off here. Detach these arms. Mm. From there, pop off pirate hat. Take this one, pop it off, and yes, you do have to pop it off on the tab. Turn it around, push it on in there, and yeah, you got a problem right here. These little tabs on the side don't really want to stay it. Go in there. So let me see if there's a way that they're trying to combat that. And nope. I mean, they don't fold in, they don't slide in. So yeah. Okay, there is. You gotta put them behind his head. So if you know if you try doing it this way, 